Hey there, welcome to my page. I am Leslie Jones. If you ever thought about purchasing land or property in Ghana for personal reasons, for business, or just to see how it is in Ghana when it comes to developing land, this is the page for you. Not only am I documenting my land purchasing process, I'm also gonna share tips so you don't have to start from scratch. So join me in this ride, subscribe, and let's go for it. I would write comments saying, you know, oh, I can't wait to get there and invest, which I never got any replies. But once I was told it's cheaper to, more affordable to buy land and build on it, I got all these negative comments. I was like, oh yeah, I wanna get land. You're gonna get screwed, they're gonna take your money. They're like, it's fraud, don't do it. I'm like, so what's the solution though? <laughs> Cause I don't base my decisions off of fear. So I would reply, so what do you suggest? What's the solution? nothing so guess what i did i bought a ticket i came to ghana when the borders opened november 2020 and i found out what i needed to do and uh yeah i made it happen and this guy i don't know if you can see him over there his name is van he's actually the person my tour guide referred me to my tour guide said the first thing you need to do is go to the lands commission and that's why i met him let's go meet him When I arrived in Ghana, my tour guide took me to the Lands Commission and I met him. And we've been connected since November 2020. Excellent person. He's answered all my questions. So my question for you, for the people, what is the first thing they should do if they're considering buying land? The land issue in Ghana here, it, it involves you doing due diligence. So the first point or the first thing you have to do to find a land is to make sure that you take a surveyor to the land, survey it and put it on the site plan. Then you run searches on the land. So the searches will tell you who actually owns the land, who is in the process of registering the land, or if the person has land title certificate, it will show that the land belongs to this person. So that's the first, second step. Survey the land, put it on the site plan, and run searches at Lands Commission to see who the land belongs to. And so how long is the surveying and the searches? How long is that process? The surveying will take probably a week for you to get to your site plan. Then the searches normally takes a month, but because we already we know what and what we have to do, Picking the step to so probably two weeks or a week, your search report will be ready so it's, for it's, you to make the decision. Gotcha. So it's important to be nice to people because if I wasn't nice to Van, you wouldn't help me, would you? No. no, no. <laughs> so I was nice to him, and look at here. We're here surveying, making things happen, and making sure that everything's in order and I don't get taken advantage of. Thank you, Van. So here's a 411. This is why there's so much commotion when it comes to buying land in Ghana. The government owns a very small percentage of the land. Most of the landowners are chiefs, royal families that own the land. So chiefs would sell the same land to multiple people. And the people that would buy the land from the chiefs will sell the same land to multiple people. So it got out of hand. So the government intervened to create the Lands Commission and now you cannot get a certificate unless you're registered and you go through the land certificate. So that's why it's so important to do a survey, to do a search, because the person that's selling you the land, their name is not on the land certificate or in the database of the land commission. Do not give your money. Do not 
because that's where the litigation starts. Now you know. Well, I want to share the good, the bad, and the ugly of this process. So this part is kind of dealing with the ugly. So if we can capture all the trash, this is a fishing community. So after they're done fishing, they'll come and just dump their trash here, get all the fish, and not clean up after themselves. So what I'll have to do as an owner is hire someone to clean. And my neighbor here, she actually told me that the government is working on regulating things. So you know what? The beach, everything is gorgeous. But hey, sometimes everything is not good. Let's recycle, reduce, and reuse because it ends up back on the land. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, guys. So as you can see in the back of me, this might most likely be my land. So my plan is to have a VRBO or an Airbnb so you guys can come, relax, see the beautiful nature. And check this out, guys. My neighbor, she's from the States too. And let's go check out her property real quick. building a restaurant in front of her property. Authentic Ghanaian food. So imagine you here getting the full Ghanaian experience. Not just the beach, not just Airbnb, but authentic Ghanaian food. This is my neighbor right there. Hey, Vicky. She's from the States as well. You guys, we're up to something. If you're not on this wave, you need to get on it. Period. <laughs> location is prime as you can see we're far enough from the hustle and the bustle of the city life but still close enough for tourist sites like the Cape Coast Castle if you're interested in this land and would like to purchase it my information is down below email me and I'll give you specific details of the process now I heard that the chief wants to meet me so I'm on my way to meet the chief of the land Right, so we're on our way to see the chief. I was on the land and the caretaker of the land called me and said the chief wanted to meet with me. So we're on our way. Don't know what this is about, but I'll, we're about to see. This is the chief, Nana Kwesi Bribo III. He is the chief of Kunru and acting president of Nkusukum traditional area. This is the highest rank you can have as a chief in a region which also comes with a huge responsibility. So yes, I felt welcomed but slightly investigated. Thank you so much for watching this far. My goal is to have 1,000 subscribers by December 2021. If you find this information interesting or helpful, like, subscribe. Did you see how many times I used the Ghanaian flag? Comment below. Here is footage of the local community. The goal is not just building homes for our individual families is to create unity through community for a better quality of life. I don't know about you, but I wanna be happy. And we can't do that alone, folks. Economic self-sufficiency is a great way to start. The locals want their community developed, my neighbor buying local fish and produce for her restaurant, me bringing in people to purchase from the locals, and a portion of my development will be a multi-recreational area. So the community can play soccer, football, basketball, tennis, yoga, you name it. This is a wave, folks. Let's ride this wave together. See you in part two of how I bought my beachfront property in Ghana. So, uh, <laughs> see how land is developed from the land. Of, uh, if you just want to see how land is developed from, uh, and it, totally sporadic moment. I was on the land and I was talking to the land, what? Caretaker. the caretaker of the land. Hey there, 
Hey there! Tourist sites like the, Cap the Cape Coast Castle. The Cape Coast Castle. So, if you're interested in this land, if you want to... Man, God. If you're interested in this land and you'd like to purchase it... If you're interested in... Thanks for watching. Hit that notification button. Part two of how I bought beachfront property in Ghana will be coming soon. My family is my number one inspiration for building in Ghana. Check out our family reunion. See you next time.